Ruby's Rainbow, and we are so excited to learn more about you through your application. Aren't we, Ruby? Yes. Yes. So um, I'm going to go through a quick little video here to kind of talk about what um, an excellent application might look like. So stay tuned. Say bye, Rubes. Bye. See ya. Lucky <laughs> now. Well, hello. Welcome. Hi. We are so excited to hear from you again. We cannot wait to see how this educational journey um, has changed your life and where it's taken you. Mm -hmm. We are excited because this year we have um, created a rubric, which um, if you don't know what a rubric is, what is a rubric, Catherine? Well, Liz, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> a rubric is basically just, it's a, um, it's a scoring tool. So it's our selection committee is the group of people who look at all the applications once they've come in and um, they evaluate them and talk about them as a group. So they're going to use this scoring rubric that's like a guide um, to just what criteria are they using to evaluate the, the application. So um, it makes it, it helps the, the selection committee because it means that they're all working on the same um, criteria, the same things in your applications that they're going on to give it certain scores. But we also wanted to make it available to y'all so that you know how you're being evaluated. And mm -hmm. you know what we think is a really great, really strong, compelling application, mm -hmm. what that really looks like. And we also want to say that um, even if we cannot give you another scholarship this year, we think you are the bee's knees. You're amazing. amazing. We're Inspiring. so proud of you. Yes. You're part of the family forever. You, like Once you've had a Ruby's Rainbow Scholarship, you, you are part of our family. You can't escape us. That's right. <laughs> As you already know. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, um, you know, we're working as hard as we can to help as many people as we can. And um, we just want you to know that we are honored that you are applying. And we're so excited to see what you do next in your life and so please stay in touch and um having to turn anybody away um for me only drives me harder to shout louder and raise more awareness and raise as much funds as we can because my dream is to never have to turn anybody away because you guys are all amazing and worthy and capable and so deserving of this experience mm -hmm. so with that said, we are going to talk about where you can find this. This is on our Ruby's Rainbow website. Mm -hmm. You wanted to give them the URL? Yeah, so you know the URL, rubiesrainbow.org. And if you click on the apply link, um, these rubrics, the rubric for your reapply application is linked up right up there on that page. You can also visit the URL rubiesrainbow.org slash rubrics, which is R-U-B-R-I-C-S. And the um, reapply rubric will be right there, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. And just a side note, um, if you have found your way on this uh, reapply rubric video, and you have not received a Ruby's Rainbow Scholarship um, yet, then you need to go back and watch the other rubric video. Mm -hmm. This is for people that have once received a, a Ruby's Rainbow Scholarship and they're reapplying. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. Good point. So, um, these, uh, so the, the scholarship committee, they have five categories that they're looking at. And you can get up to five category, five points in each category. So that means um, a total score of 25. To that, that's the total possible score. Yes. The highest score mm -hmm. possible is mm -hmm. 25. Um, the five categories that they are looking at are personal, accomplishments, goals, community impact, and extras. So we are going to start with personal. And if you look here on the rubric, there's four to five points. Um, and then it goes down to two to three or zero to one. We're going to just go over what an, the, the four to five point scoring is. Um, and you can read um, the rest of it if you'd like. So, under personal, the applicant has provided a full picture of their personality, interests, and values. This is what the selection committee is looking for. They have richly demonstrated 
What is important? I need my glasses. I took them off thinking I wouldn't need them. Okay. They have richly demonstrated what is important to them by sharing how their post-secondary experience has helped them develop or pursue their hobbies, passions, and or hopes for the future. The se selection committee is able to gain a clear vision of what the applicant's life, individuality, and what makes them unique. Okay, so um, we are really wanting to know what, like how this college experience has helped you and mm -hmm. what it, it what it what you have kind of gained from this so far mm -hmm. um, and how it's helped you develop new interests and you know maybe you took a cooking class and you know now you're wanting to pursue something in cooking or you're just cooking dinner at home mm -hmm. for you know three nights a week and you know that's freaking awesome also mm -hmm. Um, or maybe you've been learning in classes how to pay your bills or use public transport to get to work and so it's developing mm -hmm. this whole new independent independent side of you you know anything like that mm -hmm. so this personal section is really just about who you are and what makes you unique and what makes you you and since you've already received a Ruby's Rainbow Scholarship in the past we do already have a little bit of a sense of who you are so we mm -hmm. really do want you to focus on since you've started your educational program, your post-secondary ed po program, mm -hmm. how have you developed? How have you changed since the last mm -hmm. time you received a scholarship? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, did you take a history class and now you're, you know... Mm -hmm. Or did you get a job in the on-campus, you know, daycare and now you're like, ooh, I want to work with children. Yeah, yeah. so we really kind of want to know how your life has changed and developed and how your interests are growing and how you're growing as a person. Mm -hmm. Um, from since your last application. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so the next one is accomplishments. Okay, I'll read that one. So a really strong application in this section of accomplishments looks like this. The applicant listed several accomplishments they have achieved since entering post-secondary education, including, but not limited to, personal, academic, sports, advocacy, or work-related efforts or achievements. The selection committee gained a clear impression of their drive, initiative, or committed effort. And so for us, that thing of effort is super important. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, so um, accomplishments to us are not just something that you feel you have achieved. It's even the effort of working towards achieving it. So, um, you know, we use this example. You're training for a 5K and you the day comes and you make it two miles and you know but you worked so hard to us that's still a huge accomplishment mm -hmm. and the effort you put into that and the mm -hmm. training is still um something that we highly value mm -hmm. and so so yeah we want to hear about all the things you know have you gotten an award you know in your science class or have you did you get an A in you know math yeah or? did you bring your grade up after you know having a lot of challenges and struggles did you mm -hmm. yeah anything that 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 you've achieved or that you're working really hard toward achieving we want to know about it and mm -hmm. again just like in the personal category we talked about it's kind of um, through the lens of since you've started your college program or since your last application for a scholarship mm -hmm. you know how have you developed what have you achieved since then what are you working toward does that make sense yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay um, all right so we are going to move on to goals uh, okay the applicant clearly states and describes their personal academic and or career goals and indicates how their post-secondary program is helping them pursue them they demonstrate obvious ambition, drive, and or passion, and share their favorite parts of their college experience, including meaningful changes they have seen in themselves since starting their post-secondary educational journey. And so this, I think, is mainly in the essay question that we ask you to submit um, an, a personal essay when you submit your application. And these um, elements that Liz just read are in that, right in there in that mm -hmm. essay prompt. But there's other places throughout the application also that you'll be able to sort of express these things and give us a picture of these. But mm -hmm. we really want to know what your goals are for the future and how your college program or your post-secondary education program that you're doing, how is, that, how is it supporting you in reaching those goals? Mm -hmm. And have they changed? Mm -hmm. Like you started, 
you know, maybe the beginning of last year and you wanted to be a teacher and now that you've taken some classes and learned a lot about yourself and life, you know, you've shifted and you want to become, you know, something else, a chef or, mm -hmm. you know, who knows. Mm -hmm. So we really want to know how you're growing through this experience. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Moving right along. Community impact. This is a big one for us. We love community impact. We do. And since you're already involved with Ruby's Rainbow and you're already part of the family, you probably know this, but this is really important to us. So mm -hmm. community impact. The applicant has made a clear and significant impact on their school, work, religious, local, or any other community since entering post-secondary education. This could include extensive volunteer history, ongoing or multiple instances of serving in their community, or ongoing advocacy or awareness efforts. The applicant has clearly demonstrated their community impact by listing specific related programs, persons, or experiences. So, so we love, we want to hear what you're doing out in your community. Um, we love knowing that you are making an impact on other people's lives. Um, it could just be a friend that, you know, needed some help um, studying and you, you helped them through, you know, a hard period mm -hmm. or it could be like formal volunteer work that you do. Like maybe you mm -hmm. volunteer at a nursing home or a soup kitchen or something every Saturday or maybe you um, read stories to the kids in the preschool class nearby mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it could be something less formal, something just... You know, maybe you work at the Campus Rec Center and people always comment on how much your smile just makes them feel at home. Mm -hmm. And we also understand that it can be hard for you to kind of know what your impact is on other people. It can be hard to brag about yourself even though we want you to. Mm -hmm. And it can be hard to just know what your effect is on other people. So we also encourage you to maybe ask people to write recommendation letters yes. that can help give us a picture of this. Like help talk about your impact on other people mm -hmm. or on your community. Um, or in the workplace mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. in your volu um, volunteer mm -hmm. or among your friends yeah or if you're um, you know in an internship mm -hmm. or something like that we really want to know how you are impacting your community um, are you out there advocating and you know talking to others are you on campus in the you know in the R word drive or, you know, all of these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. We just kind of want to really know what, um, what you're up to. Yeah. So um, final section, final section, extras, mm -hmm. extra, extra. Um, okay. So the applicant has submitted multiple new extras. So that's the key at new extras. We want to see new things. Um, so nothing that you've submitted before with the past application. We really want to see new right. things that show us what you've been doing since that last application. Right. Um, so multiple new extras that have been created or that reflect new developments in their journey since they last applied in an above and beyond effort to help the selection committee get to know them better. These items might include, but are not limited to, videos, drawings, poems, paintings, photographs, articles, etc. The materials they share shared have given the selection committee a clear vision of their life since their last application, including their interest, personalities, and or potential. Yeah. Yeah. So this section is not required technically. You know, you're only required to um, submit one photograph of yourself mm -hmm. with your application. But we really strongly encourage people to um, really pay attention to this extras section and, mm -hmm. and use this mm -hmm. to help support your entire application. So this is a way that we're going to find out about your personal and your accomplishments and your goals and your community impact through pictures that you're sharing and videos, videos and you know artwork, artwork um, all of the things that maybe you were in an article and mm -hmm. you know you have a link to an article mm -hmm. on campus mm -hmm. that you or you maybe know. you received a, some kind of recognition or award or honor and so you send us a scan of that you mm -hmm. know or of you a picture of you on the stage receiving it or mm -hmm. or you know anything just anything yeah, yeah. a anything. window into your life that, that helps us really connect with you more. Yes. Helps you stand out to us. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, um, we, you can uh, send in up to 10 pictures now. 
So we would love to see those of you, you know, pictures that are you on campus or doing something in your post-secondary life, mm -hmm. your college life, those are good ones. Mm -hmm. um, or are you with your friends, family, you know, At maybe your internship your, or... Right. Um, and explain to us mm -hmm. why these are important pictures mm -hmm. to you. And um, yeah. So anyway, we hope this helps. We're super excited about the new rubric. And um, as always, you can reach out. We're super available, liz at rubiesrainbow.org, or if you have issues with your application. Um, if you have trouble uploading things or you just have a question about any part of it, you can email me, Catherine at rubiesrainbow.org. Catherine with mm -hmm. C. 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 Whichever way it goes. And we're so excited to hear how you've been doing and um, what this experience is helping you achieve. And super proud of you as always so we look forward to learning more yay bye, bye.